Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in. I am Simdrin and welcome back to my channel for another speed build in The Sims 4. Happy New Year too. It's 2023. How excited are you? I know I am. I was pretty much ready for 2022 to be done so. So we are here today starting the year off right, kind of, because we missed last week. But we're starting the year off strong this week, just a little week behind. Uh, with a shell challenge. This is my entry into the Simly Sash 5k shell challenge. Simly Sash is over on Instagram celebrating hitting 5,000 followers over there. So make sure you check the description down below and check them out. So I want to explain a little bit of the inspiration for this build. As you can see, I just placed down a cat statue right in front of the window on the outside of the home on the exterior. So I was sitting in a drive through a Walgreens drive through to be exact, with my mother waiting to basically pick up some of my dad's prescriptions, right? And across the way, I saw this house. It was, a, it was actually an apartment building and they have like, they have some balconies, but this wasn't on a balcony. It was like on a roof or a platform like this that kind of was over the entryway of the like apartment building. I feel like I'm explaining it so weird, but if you saw it, you'd understand. And I was like, that is such a cute idea. They had a cat statue and its head was kind of tilted, kind of like looking in the house, like looking through the window, like, hey, let me in. And I thought that was the cutest thing. And I said, I want to do that in The Sims. So that was a while ago. And I've been thinking about doing like a cat lover's home ever since. So when I took a look at this shell challenge, I said, this could be it. I love the little pond here. Um, it has all the basic rules. Don't change the walls. You can't really change the pond, but you can decorate it however you like. So I do end up landscaping around it. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. And I'm building here in not Brindleton Bay, no. Brychester is at the, the, the university town. I was looking for a perfect little, I wanted a 20 by 15 lot because everything else was seemed a little big for this build. And I didn't feel like doing that much on the exterior because I wanted something I could, you know, kind of knock out in one take as far as building wise. So this is it. But Brychester, I always forget how beautiful it is to build here. I mean, the lighting is pretty good, in my opinion. And these pink trees in the background just pop and it's really cute. And I like playing around with the colors and seeing what worked for this build. We have like this pinkish orangish on the top, a little pale yellow siding on the bottom. And overall, it's pretty cute. I cannot wait for you guys to see the interior because I just, once I finished the kitchen, I was hooked, I was in love, and I was ready to go. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, it would mean the world to me if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell for notifications for the next video. We are at the 700 mark, which means we are now pushing for 1000 and it's gonna be wild to hit there. I've been doing this for two and a half years, I think now. And it's something I never thought would even be achievable. I just do this for fun really, and to hang out with you guys and share my builds. So I I don't know, I think it would be pretty cool, right? Anyway, we are landscaping and just adding some terrain paint. Pretty soon we're gonna add the stairs or move the stairs uh, to change the entryway on top but while we do that I want to give you guys a question of the day I know it's been a week since we welcomed in the new year pretty much almost kind of ish uh, and I want to know what you guys have planned this year do you have any resolutions do you not believe in resolutions do you set goals do you set intentions I am very very curious I used to love setting resolutions, but then I became quickly aware that I never keep my resolutions. So I guess they're more like goals and intentions. So for this channel in particular, I want to 
try and fine tune my schedule in my real life and find this balance so that I can post more YouTube videos, more of a variety of Sims content, not just speed builds, maybe some let's plays, hint, hint, I may have started editing one, uh, and those kinds of things. I just want to be more consistent, you know, and because this is what I love to do and it brings me joy at the end of day, the day when I'm at work. That's all I'm thinking about. I want to make content. I want to play Sims. I want to hang out with you guys. And speaking of hanging out, I do want to start streaming again really, really, really soon. So be on the lookout for that. That would be over on Twitch. And for any announcements, make sure you are following all my other socials, Instagram, Twitter, and the like, TikTok too, all of it. As we are getting into this voiceover, I do want to give you guys a little bit of a life update. Um, if you're not following my socials, or if you are already, you probably have seen. Uh, I don't think, at least as of now, I haven't posted it on the community tab, but I could. But basically, yesterday, I was cleaning my brand new blender that I got for Christmas, brand new, right out of the box. And I was like, let me clean it. I'm going to make smoothies. I was so freaking excited to make these smoothies, guys. Right. And then I'm cleaning the blade because I pulled it out and I'm like, be careful. You don't want to cut yourself and then slice. So I cut my middle finger on my right hand right at the tip. And it was, it was a lot ended up going to the ER and now I'm a little limited with what I can do I think. So I don't know if I'll be able to build. I'm hoping I'm hoping in a couple of days I can. The tip is still a little tender. I didn't need any stitches. They just had to glue it together. They got the bleeding to stop. So it should be a fairly easy healing process and I should be back at it hopefully in a couple of days. So if that's the case there should be no little hiccups as far as missing uploads because I really want to start this year strong, guys. I really do. So bear with me in case for some reason it doesn't go the way we plan as life happens. But anyway, enough about my life updates here. We are in the kitchen and I thought it was adorable. I never thought of using this rug here with the little fish on it. I think that's also from Cats and Dogs as like an actual decor piece. And it was perfect. And then I even used these curtains, which usually I would use in like a kid's room. But I feel like the Sim is like classy, but very whimsical. You know, like the Sim loves their cat. It could be two Sims because you can fit two Sims in here, but they love their cat. Here I'm putting the microwave on like a different end table, which I had to do with the tool mod because the microwave and things like um, the coffee makers, the tea makers, those things, they need to be placed on counters. So what you have to do, at least if you have the tool mod, it's a little easy because you can just shrink down the actual counter. But if you don't have the tool mod, you can also do this. If you have your bb.move objects cheat on, then you can use the alt key and one of the brackets and just shrink it down. I think it's the alt key. I hope I'm telling you the right thing. I'm sorry. If I'm not, please, someone in the comments correct me. But you can do that and just kind of hide it. You won't be able to really bring down the microwave, I don't think, unless you build a basement and raise it up with the night key. Hmm. So there are ways around not having the tool mod. Um, I'm not sure how it would work on console or Mac. I do have to say that. Anyway, we are moving to the living room. I feel like the dining was pretty simple. I wanted to make sure there was like a big cat tree for the cat to hang out. And fun fact, there are two cat trees in this build. It's amazing, like cat lovers paradise. You can probably have more than one cat here, honestly. And then I don't think this would be functional for your cats, but I thought it was so cute. 
to have like a little cat bed and the window there on this bay window because if the cats in the sims are anything like my own cat she loves to sunbathe in the window she loves it she does it all day i mean she's an elder kitty so most of her time is sleeping but it's always on her cat tree in front of her favorite window also on the windowsill we have some plants and some other clutter like cat toys and books so pretty much i thought it was cute i thought it came out pretty nice uh i think i do end up getting a tv in here next to the front door so that you have some something to watch uh lots of use of the everyday clutter kit because as i said besides the blooming rooms kit that is my favorite kit and oh i also used the trash can from the pastel pop kit as well see we're getting all the new kits in Speaking of kits, what do you guys think the next one will be? Or what do you think the next announcement from The Sims will be? I know we're all itching. I keep seeing everyone on Twitter saying, today, is there an announcement today? And then even as I'm recording this, today's Wednesday, there was even more action from The Sim Gurus like each day this week. I know it's because the holidays are over, but it looks like a lot of people are predicting that something's going to drop tomorrow, January 5th. Um, hopefully, I'm not like sticking my foot in my mouth and it's not going to happen, but I would love some kind of announcement. Uh, just something. Just tell us something's coming. Tell us you remember us because it feels like we've been forgotten. Anyway, I also used another swatch of that rug in the bathroom with the heart and the paw. I want that in real life. And we've got the litter box in the little side yard, which ends up being like a small garden. You have one garden pot. There's a little table. Just nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Um, we are upstairs now and I am talking really fast. So I'm, ex I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if... I'm just like, yeah, I just, I feel like I haven't talked to him forever, but this, I knew where the cat was looking in. I wanted it to be, a bit of see, I'm talking too fast. I wanted it to be a reading nook for your sim or sims. And I used this day bed from Dream Home Decorator, but then I felt like it was starting to look a little too modern in here, but I really liked the green on that shelf from the pastel pop kit so i switched it out for that i think that armchair is from cats and dogs and the bed's from cats and dogs too i really leaned heavy in that pack but i did not limit any of my packs nothing but yeah the bedroom here is coming together oh something from the high school years pack look at that a little cat from snowy escape another cat tree comes here and we also get a desk area as well with the little typewriter looking like computer thing from, I think that's Cottage Living. But we switched out the windows here to make it fit a little better with the bed and kind of frame the curtains a little bit. But we're just going to clutter it up and finish up the bedroom. I don't know what else to tell you. Either way, I feel like I gave you guys a lot today, a lot of information. I hope you guys are well. I do hope you guys had a great holiday season and a very happy new year. I hope all of your dreams and wishes and resolutions and things come true. And I really do hope that this year is kind to you and to all of us because I think we're due for a really good year, you know? It's been a really long time since we've had a really good year anyway stick around for the tour and before you leave please 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 hit that big old thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell for notifications comment down below all of these things really 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 help me out and i really appreciate all of your support say hi to patchy and enjoy the tour i'll talk to you guys next time bye